I'm not going to put that on my head. <laughs> Everyone be like, mm. Hey friends. So today we're doing a thrift haul. A thrift haul. A thrift haul. Are you excited? Thrift haul with all the stuff that we found online last time. I'm very excited to style all the pieces. And first, let's look at everything that I got and then we will get into this. If you missed my last video, it's in the description. It took a little while for all the stuff to come in. I did have a little bit of issue with the seller that sent me the wrong thing. <laughs> so that took a little while to have them send the right thing. They were cooperative though, so I did appreciate that. As soon as they realized their mistake, they were really nice about it. And and here it is, the stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through each thing and talk about why I got it, what I think about it, and then we're gonna do some outfits. How's that sound? I don't know what that is. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Okay, so the first one is the item that the seller sent the wrong thing first. I'll show you what they sent, and then I'll show you what I ordered. So this is what they sent me. Remember, I was looking for something in that mustard color, and I remember opening it and being like, I thought this thing was vintage, because the tag is clearly not vintage. I don't know if you can see that. It'll focus. Hello. There. And it's like a little bit more brown than mustard, and I was like, ah that's weird and so I went and I looked at the listing again and sure enough <laughs> there were two of very similar items so this is what I ordered it's vintage as you can see from the tag and it's got a pocket and cute little sleeve details I really like this I think it's very cute and it's the exact color that I was wanting which was the whole point of getting this piece so I'm happy with it the seller was nice sent the right one to me as soon as I reached out and I got to keep the other one too. So that's cool. And I'll style both. Why not? Okay, next up are the red, well, it was supposed to be like gingham, but this is technically a um, different print. It's like a little scalloped thing, but it reads as gingham. Um, this is a knit, so it's a little different than what I was looking for, but they were surprisingly hard to find and um, I liked how these have a flare at the bottom. So even though it's not exactly what I was looking for, I think it'll still serve the same purpose pretty well, but we'll see once I style it. And next is the blue, well, this is gingham. I was looking for a larger like buffalo plaid, but I couldn't find any that uh, the sellers were responding and um, were the right size and all of that. So this was a good alternative. And I like that it has a little flare at the bottom as well. Stretchy waistband is a must for me. <laughs> so uh, I feel pretty good about these. This is actually probably better than what I was looking for. Um, but we'll see when I style it. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be better than what I was originally thinking. So I'm excited about this pair. So for the golden mustard pants, <laughs> I just went ahead and got a smaller size of the pair that I already owned um, because I could not for the life of me find the right color anywhere. Um, I found things that were really close or maybe things that were too expensive or not the right size or something, but I was like, you know what? I still really do like that pair of pants. They just don't fit. So I went and I found the right size and they do fit and we'll style them even though you've seen me wear these before. <laughs> Same thing for this tank. I found a bigger size, so this is going to fit a lot better. You've seen me wear this before, so it's nothing crazy and new, but I was really excited to be able to find another one because I really didn't want to get rid of that one. It just was always opening at the boob area. Nobody wants that. Maybe someone does, but I don't. I don't. Okay, next up is green pants. This one was tough to find the exact specific green I wanted. Um, because I'm being very picky about it, and so I still... Biscuit, don't do that. I'm being really picky about it, so I still... Biscuit. I'm being really picky about it, so I still haven't found the exact green, but I do really like these pants that I found. They are really nice, like, stretchy material that has a little bit more structure to it, um, so they're, like, heavier, kind of. Um, I like that a lot about them. And then I had mentioned in the video that when I was thrifting in store at ARC, um, I found this Kelly Green pair. So I'll style both today. I don't know if this video is not even picking the color up right. That looks more blue. 
than it is in real life, but this is a Kelly green and this is a forest green and I was looking for something in between, but <laughs> what can you do? I'm picky about green, what can I say? That's, I, I blame being an artist um, for that, like, I just am a big nerd for color. And of course, because it's the way that it works when you're thrifting, even online a little bit, I don't impulse buy, but I did find things that I wanted that were not the things I was looking for. That happens sometimes. First up is this pair of pants. I love the color palette on these. They have a stretchy back which is really nice um, because your girl needs some stretch around her stomach, all right? She needs a little stretch around her tummy. But I'm really excited to style these. They have kind of a fall vibe but I'm gonna try to make them a little more springy today so we'll see. Last but not least. Some of y'all might not get this but I'm stoked on this one. <laughs> Look what she got! The crazy cat lady! I had to! I just had to! So we're styling this today too. Um, I was very excited to find it. Okay, coming in here, finished filming and realized I never explained that there were a few items that I did not end up finding. Those items were the sweater vest. I think that's something I'm just gonna have to find in person so I can try it on because it's something that I feel really iffy about the fit on and I'm not as familiar with like being able to just use measurements or something like that. And the orange dress because I'm being very picky about that one. <laughs> so I didn't find those two things. I did find a red hat I'm actually at Leech Pit, like a vintage store here, not online. Uh, so Poshmark has a standard shipping price and for smaller items, sometimes it feels like it's not really worth it. So for a really lightweight hat, I did not want to pay like almost $8 in shipping for that. So I found it locally, but the problem was once I washed it, like this stink came out and actually like made everything else in the wash stink too. It was like, the worst smell I can't describe. So I'm trying to fix that. I don't know if it's gonna work. What's so weird is it wasn't obvious when I bought it. It was after it got wet in the wash that it started to smell bad. That is um, something that's just kind of on pause. I do have a hat, but I'm not gonna put that on my head. <laughs> Everyone be like, mm, ew, we don't want that. So the hat, is just on pause so that was me coming in to edit real quick so everything that you saw here except for those last two pieces and the pants that i mentioned that i'd already gotten at the thrift the green ones those have all been from poshmark i had a lot more luck on poshmark this time and i think it was because most of the stuff i was looking for wasn't vintage um usually when i wanted to focus more on vintage i will have better luck typically on depop um even you know Etsy if, if I don't mind spending a little bit more money but this time Poshmark was where it was at why don't we do a little try on are you ready <laughs> okay so this look is with the pants that I already own but in a better size I'm really liking the fact that I don't have to wear a belt with them anymore I love using that vibrant mustard yellow with all sorts of different colors. I thought for a springy look, it would be fun to put it with green with a pop of blue in the shoe. Pop of blue in the shoe. Wow, she's a poet. It is literally snowing outside right now, so I won't be able to wear this one for a while, but I thought it was really cute the way that the flowers on the sweater pull that color up from the pants. And then I thought I would put a pop, again, of that same golden mustard with the bandana on top. Gives a really nice feeling for spring. And then I just love these little blue shoes. I think that's such a fun way to like mix up a color palette is just throw in some vibrant blue. I don't usually use that as my full color focus. I'm not big on blue head to toe, but I am gonna try that actually. We're gonna try that next. We're gonna try a head to toe blue look just to see if I can do it. Okay, this is the closest I could get to head to toe blue. Sorry guys. Just a personal preference. I've seen amazing looks online, people doing that, but I just, I'm a warm color girl. What can I say? So these pants I was probably most excited about, which means they had a little bit further to fall and I'm kind of disappointed with how they're fitting in the stomach and crotch region. Um, I don't know why, but there's something about the way they're fitting that screams look at my crotch to me. I don't know what it is. It's kind of a bummer because they're really comfy. I love the print. I love the color. I love the way the legs fit and the length and the crop and the flare. Sometimes it's just in your head. I don't know if that's one of those things, but 
I don't know. I just, I feel a little self-conscious about it. I thought it would be fun to pair the smaller check of the pants with a big, bold print. Um, so I picked this sweater, which is very spring because it's flowers. And then because I couldn't fully commit to blue, I had to put some warm in there, which pulled out the flowers from the sweater. And it's the top that the seller accidentally sent me. So that worked out nicely. And then that also pulls from the shoe as well. It has a little bit more of a cozy warm thing going on, but it still reads very spring. Um, so I do like the outfit. I just gotta figure out how to style these pants in a way that I don't feel insecure wearing them. But overall, I think this is a cute look. Okay, next up is a look that I feel like I could actually wear right now. It's giving LL Bean casual old money at the lake house, I think. A little punch of weird, thanks to the socks. <laughs> Can't resist a good print sock. These pants are really comfy, um, and like I said before, the color's not exactly right, but these will still get a lot of wear in my closet, and I really like the flare and how they're a little bit cropped. They make the booty look good. So I thought it would be fun to pair them with a little bit of a complimentary color without going full Christmas. So I have red in the shoe, and then I bring both the red and the green into the sock. For a cozy, but still a little bit spring kind of vibe, I have the quilt coat, which I love this piece. It's one of my favorite things that I own. And then you can't go wrong with a really oversized, comfy Henley. I think this actually is vintage L.L. Bean. <laughs> And all together, it still has a little bit of a spring vibe, but isn't screaming obvious spring. It's time for the cat crew neck. I love this thing. I love weird, corny, ironic. I don't know. Is it ironic? Because I actually do love cats and I have three. I just, I love this kind of stuff. So it was a thrill to find it. And I thought it would be fun to pair it with a bold color that pulled out the eyes on the cat because it's otherwise black and white. So I went full orange and I have this skirt that I thrifted last year that I didn't get really much chance to wear before it started to get cold. And then you know I had to go super extra by adding orange boots on top because that is how I roll. Yes, I would wear this in public and yes, I probably will. Not yet though because it's a little too cold to have bare legs. Okay, I know this one's not going to be for everyone because it's a lot of print mixing but I thought it would be fun to balance out the summer of this top and the fall of these pants and try to find some middle ground in between where we're gonna be doing spring. The reason in my opinion this print mixing works is because the prints are all very different. You have a large geometric shape with the pant and you have small detailed organic shapes with the top and then the texture of the sweater is entirely different. It is large and organic again with squares, but because of the texture of the knit itself, it isn't reading the same way as the pants. That's the key to print mixing is that you want to not have prints that are too similar to one another. As far as color goes, I wanted to balance out the fall color palette of the pants. There's little bits of red in the tank, and then there's also little bits of green. The blue kind of evens it all out so it isn't reading fall, and then I thought I would play with the green because it's a complementary color to the red in the pant without going overboard Christmas vibes. So that's where I pulled the pop of green with the shoe. The sweater has the same pop of green in it as well. I don't know if it's full spring. I think the sweater probably brings it into spring territory a little bit, but at least it's not one specific season. We'll go with that. <laughs> okay, here's a fun look that is pretty similar to something that I wore last year. So if you've been following my Instagram for a while, you might recognize it. But I just wanted to see how these pants held up to the way that I styled this outfit with my previous pair of red gingham pants. And I have to be honest that I do kind of miss the structured fit of the other pair. They didn't fit right in the thighs. They were too tight, which is why I got rid of them. But these are very, very stretchy and don't have a lot of structure to them. So it's kind of the same problem as the other pair where I feel like it's screaming, look at my crotch. <laughs> um, again, that might be a me thing, but luckily with this one, I did style it with an oversized shirt. And so that does help. I had seen some folks use this fun color palette of yellow and red together successfully online. And it made me a little nervous because I didn't want it to be like McDonald's, but I think it works. 
It's very fun and warm and has kind of a retro feel to it. And then to balance out that McDonald's vibe, I thought I would go ahead and add a pop of blue and a pop of green with the shoes and the bandana. So overall, I think the pants are a win. I still might try to find something more similar to what I had before, but it is very hard to find as you guys saw in my last video. So I'm okay with this for now. And here's another fun spring rainy day look. I was thinking I had to go bold if I'm gonna do these pants, <laughs> which do fit really nice and comfy by the way. It's rare for me to find a pair of, these are basically jeans that fit, not too loose, but not so tight that if I'm bloating, it's gonna be a problem. I have a lot of digestive issues, so that comes up a lot for me. I thought it would be fun to do some wild color combinations for this one since I wasn't gonna be using as many crazy prints. And these aren't colors I normally would put together, but that's because I don't really own a lot of Kelly Green, I think. Like I would put maybe the boots and the jacket together, but the Kelly Green really just changes the whole vibe. And I'm here for it. I think it's really fun. This is me getting out of my comfort zone just a little bit. As far as pairing goes, I wanted to have a little bit of pink. I already knew with the green. It's almost a complimentary color, but not quite. So I went with the boot, and then I thought the stripe in this turtleneck would pull a little bit of the pink without going crazy. And then just to top it all off, thought let's go full rainy day. I'll pull out <laughs> the rain jacket. Classic warm yellow rain jacket. And then the lining has the pink in it again, so that's a fun pull. Put this look together for the mustard top which isn't a statement piece, so I wanted to do some crazy stuff with it. I know that kind of takes the attention away from it, but that's sort of the point. This is a supporting role piece, not the star of the show. So I wanted to demonstrate how it could be a great supporting player in a fit with some wild stuff. <laughs> and you can't get a whole lot more wild than the piano jacket. I wouldn't say any of these pieces are especially spring, but the combination of them works. The shoe really helps with that because it has a little bit of a blush pink to it and it's open toe. Even though I can style these pants to have a lot more of a fall vibe, I think because they're lighter green, it also works to do them this way. I know it's gonna be another one that not everybody loves, but you know, fashion is subjective. So <laughs> I think it's really fun. I'm totally gonna wear it. I do like the mustard top. It's going to be a great staple in my closet. So thanks for joining along. I hope you had fun with me trying on these things. Let me know below which is your favorite. And since I am a new channel, it helps me a lot if you're... <coughs> Excuse me. Ew. And I am a new channel, so it helps a lot if you subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to know about new videos that are coming out. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram. That's at thrift underscore B. That's B-E-E. -E. And have a good one, guys. Bye!